Um, shout out to everyone here. I want to stay on topic. Uh, if you got any questions, drop them down below. Smash the like button, super chat, all that good stuff. Um, last thing I, I, I'll touch on when it comes to, or one of the last things I'll touch on when it comes to Lomachenko, right, is this whole Shakur Stevenson thing. Because Shakur Stevenson went on a tirade after the fight. Shakur Stevenson pretty much said that top rank, he's doing what Terrence Crawford's doing and whatnot, and then saying that Terrence, he's saying that top rank doesn't treat black fighters properly, which in the past, maybe it was true. Maybe for certain fighters it was true, but it's never been the case for him. Shakur Stevenson has gotten world-class year for top rank. He got a prime time slot on ESPN his last fight against Edwin De Los Santos and completely shit the bed and had a horrible perform performance, a boring performance, a performance that was so boring. We'll be talking about it 30 years from now. It's one of the worst performances in history of boxing. Okay. They, they, the natural progression of things is I think they're going to want to give him the Lomachenko fight. But if he leaves top rank, which he's talking about doing, he's got to fight July 7th against Arthur Herotunian. If he takes care of business there, he's already stated that he's going to leave top rank. So I feel like Shakur Stevenson's on the verge of blocking his own blessings, honestly. Um, but let's 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 get into it, man. Let's let, let's get into it so I can show you guys. I, I can show you guys better, better than I can tell you. Shakur Stevenson tweeted this on Saturday night. Hold on a second. He stated the following, and I quote. Floyd told me years ago, top rank, don't fuck with black fighters. They use you until they can't use you no more. Tonight was them trying to make a statement to me, LOL. Bob don't got no say no more. They're just letting him believe that he runs it, but they're taking over the company behind the scenes with a bunch of sharks who don't really fuck with Bob like that. So, Shakur Stevenson says that. Now, what do, I, don't know, I don't know what sport Shakur thinks he's in, but I don't give a damn if it's PBC. I don't give a damn if it's Matchroom. I don't care if it's Golden Boy. Every promotional company in boxing uses you until you can't be used no more. That's why it's very important for fighters to make as much money as they can, right? But for, 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 for Shakur to see here and say they don't fuck with black fighters, like I said, maybe that was the case for other fighters. Maybe that was the case for, you know, maybe maybe you could even say Terrence Crawford didn't get treated to a certain uh, uh, treated right to a certain degree, right? Because um, they wouldn't deliver certain fights for him. But that's never been the case with Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson's always gotten first class treatment. He's gotten to headline plenty of times. They literally, even though you know, I have my opinions about them planning a whole event around Formula One weekend because again, this is the USA, and we don't give a fuck about that shit in the USA. Formula One is a, is a trash, elitist European sport. We don't care about no Formula One in the USA, especially on, on not, not on no damn Thursday night. So I thought they 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 were wrong with how they promoted that fight, but still, nonetheless, he had a prime time slot. On ESPN against Delos Santos, and he performed like utter dog shit. And I don't care what nobody says. I don't care. Like he he performed horribly in that fight. And that's and, and, and whether he wants to admit it or not, that performance single-handedly drove down his value. You know, that that fight is why now guys are having a more of an excuse not to fight him because he's he's a very he's a very good defensive fighter, he's a southpaw, he's hard to hit. And now, now, now you're being born as hell. Now the narrative, and, and I think it's a fair narrative. It's a very fair narrative. Every, damn near every, like, above average punch that Shakur Stevens has ever fought, with the exception of maybe Oscar Valdez, who he was way bigger than, by the way. Every guy that he's fought, Nakatilia, De Los Santos, they're like the real explosive punchers have made Shakur Stevens turn into a track star. That's just the truth, right? So... He's wrong, and I think I think I think I think he's wrong here, and I think I think he's blocking his own blessings. I think I think if he were to stay with top rank, you know, um, and God willing, they're, they're giving him a fight against Arthur Rotunian, who's a good little fighter. But if you're really as good as you say as you say you are, you should be blowing uh, Arthur Rotunian out the water. So you need to deliver like another Ichiro Yoshino type performance, and then I think the 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 wise move would be. Probably to stay with top rank if you want to fight Lomachenko or Williams Pitta, right? Because, um, may not Williams Pitta, but Lomachenko, because you go to PBC. I mean, look, they were like Leonard Ellerby made it clear a long time ago what it was with Tank that they're going to dictate every term that they want. You know, his answer to every question is Javante Davis, the biggest star in boxing. That's all he said to anything, right? So they're not going to fight you until you really show you can be somewhat of a draw. 
So if you think if, if Shakur Stevenson really thinks he's gonna go sign with PBC and everything's gonna be willy nilly and great for him, it's not gonna be the case. I think his bet the best move for Shakur is to stay on um on top rank, fight, get get the Lomachenko fight. First of all, beat the shit out of Arthur Tuni and remind the world of your greatness. Then re-sign with top rank. Get if you can't get the Lomachenko fight, okay. Well then look, there's still options. You should, you, you can still fight. Now look, I know. I know, I know you say you'll never fight Keyshawn Davis, but he's in your weight class and he's ranked pretty damn highly. Fight Keyshawn Davis. Fight uh, Ray Muratia. Um, There's plenty of fights out there for, for Shakur Stevenson. I mean, I know Robert Garcia, when I interviewed him, was very vocal about wanting that Shakur Stevenson fight. So you got those two fights in-house at top rank. You got um, potentially Keyshawn Davis if you guys ever want to fight each other and stop this buddy-buddy shit. You got William Zapata. Zapata, I know, is his value is growing. He's fighting Giovanni Cabrera soon. Top Ring and Golden Boy have shown that they will work, they will work uh, with each other if the dollars make sense. So um, I don't, I, I really don't think the fights are going to come as quickly as he thinks if he goes to PBC. Now, if he goes to PBC, maybe he gets a Frank Martin fight. I can see him getting Frank Martin, something like that. You know, maybe Raul Valenzuela. Maybe something like that. Maybe at best, at best. Best case scenario for, for, for Shakur Stevenson from a commercial standpoint is maybe he gets a Isak Cruz fight. And then maybe he can win that fight and then he can fight Tank. Build, you know, but if he thinks he's just he he's gonna sign some sort of one fight deal and just get a Javon Davis fight, I think he's uh I think he's gravely mistaken. And then somebody in the comments mentioned um it was it was uh who was it? They said uh Reed says they're probably gonna do Navarate versus Shakur. Yeah, I think. Navarate versus Shakur is, an, is is one is probably the most realistic matchup. Now, Navarate still has to take care of 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 Dennis Branchick, but yes, if if he fights Navarate, then then not, obviously that that fight makes a ton of sense, and it's a great fight for Shakur. It's a smaller guy coming up in weight, a guy with those lot of punches who have plenty of chances to to counter punch, um, a guy who's Mexican who's a great fighter, a guy that's right now he's teetering on the on borderline Hall of Famer. Um, that's a great fight for Shakur. So Shakur should be rooting his ass off for Navarrete because, you know, he he wins this fight. You know, you got that. You got, uh, what you call it? You got Lomachenko and then maybe like a Murray Tire or something like that. So, you know, it is what it is. Now, last thing about Shakur Stevenson in regards to Lomachenko. He said, fuck, uh, he, he basically said, fuck, them, uh, fuck all of them. Floyd been telling me about top rank. They're trying to freeze me out. So he, he he feels they're trying to freeze him out. I think that's bullshit. I think Shakur Stevenson is freezing himself out with these with these tired ass performances on primetime television. And now Top Rank's having a hard time going to ESPN saying, "Hey, we want to give Shakur Stevenson another primetime slot." But then, like, who wants to watch him do that again? You know, he needs to he need he needs to really remind the world in his next fight of his greatness. And look. I like Shakur Stevenson. I met, I, met, I met the young man myself when he was back in 2016 before he was even in the Olympics. So I, I've always had a deep appreciation for Shakur Stevenson. Um, you know, we've seen this in boxing many times before. Look at look at his buddy from New Jersey, Ray, Ray, Raymond Ford. Ray, Raymond Ford is having tons of dog chip performances against Aaron Perez and Edward Vasquez. Um, and it wasn't until he fought like Odebeck Komotov that now he's gained the respect.